everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a rundown of my top 20 recommendations for autumn fragrances across all budgets. Every season I do one of these videos, this is my 2023 video, so I'm going to be taking you through 20 different perfumes that I think are great for autumn. They'll all be linked down below in the description box as always where you can get them all around the world. If you're new here do check out my hundreds of other videos and my articles on SoakyLondon.com and if you're a regular do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up that really helps me so where to begin so I guess I have to begin with my passion my fragrances so my Empress perfume which is um, that came out at the end of last year is definitely made for autumn winter this is an intense intense perfume you guys it is so concentrated this is a gourmand so it's definitely for people that like sweet warm fragrances and it was inspired by by Miss Dior Cherie that was discontinued like 20 years ago that had a popcorn note in the base. So this has that popcorn in, it has a strawberry top note that you get at first and then it's over the hours it reveals rose, peony, patchouli mixed with that warm cozy popcorn. So it's definitely a really cozy fragrance. It's super super concentrated, it is an intense fragrance so this will last all day and when I wear this I get so many compliments my friends wear this I can smell it on them even though they sprayed it you know like six eight hours ago um, in the past so definitely one perfect for colder days and it's definitely a boss girl fragrance hence the name Empress so next up Prada Paradox this came out around this time last year and I find it's it's more of an autumnal scent because it has this really warm ambery base it's a jasmine fragrance, so very floral, but I find as it develops, it's really that amber that comes through for me, and that's really what I can smell, um, along with the jasmine. It's good quality, it lasts, it projects, and I definitely think this for me is more autumnal than it is like spring, summer, because of its heaviness. They just brought out an intense version, which has an oak moss note in as well, so it's a bit greener, mossier, deeper. But if you like your jasmine perfumes, I think this is one of the best jasmine fragrances on the market at the moment. Next up is the original Giorgio Armani C. This is a vanilla -y fragrance with patchouli in. Again, I get compliments when I wear this. It has good lasting power and it's got a little bit of a black currenty note in, though the intense version is the one that has the cassis, lots of black currant in. The original is like that warm, vanilla, cozy, feminine vibe. I like sort of spraying this on a scarf around my neck, sort of cozy and warm and great for autumn and winter and it is good value for money because of that lasting power. Next is one of my all-time favorite perfumes, the original Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum. Even though this is a designer, because it's been out for so long, you can often get this really discounted. This has a pear opening note, which is very fresh, and it then reveals a toffee patchouli base, which is really Moorish and addictive, but the pear lifts it. So it's perfect for autumn when you don't want something too heavy, but you, like, you want that fresh pear, perhaps during the day time in the autumn and for me it just feels so nostalgic and cozy I've had this for so many years and it always is one that I turn to in the autumn months. Berries are definitely an autumnal type um, fragrance note. Tresor Midnight Rose another one of my favorite fragrances is something I wear in the evenings in the autumn and then in the daytime in the winter. It's a cassis fragrance so raspberry and black currant but very deep very syrupy it has great lasting power and really stays on your clothes. It's like a like a liqueur, like a black currant or raspberry liqueur, deep, warm, quite sexy. I like wearing this like sort of date night type perfume in the evenings. I'm worried that this will be discontinued soon because it's been out for quite a while and it's not one that Lancome might promote much. So I have a couple of bottles like stocked up in case. But yeah, if you like black currant, this is definitely one for you. One that was released earlier this year is the latest from Chloe in their Nomad range. It's called Chloe Nomad 
Jasmine Natural Intense. And this has a really unique date note in it. So quite warm, fruity. It's so elegant. For me, this smells very expensive. It's so good, honestly, you guys. Yeah, I really get that date coming through with the jasmine. It's so unusual to have a date note in a perfume. All the other nomads use like an oak moss. They were very mossy. Whereas this one is really all about the jasmine. But that date note, it adds a warm fruitiness. Like it's not a fresh or a bright fruity. It's like a cozy fruitiness, which makes it perfect for colder days. And I believe this one is, it says 100% perfume of natural origin and it is vegan as well. And yeah, I really rate this thing. This is my favorite perfume from Chloe. So Moorish and addictive, but yeah, it smells like it's ex very expensive and classy. If you're a fan of cherry, then I definitely recommend checking out Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever, which has a cherry top note and it is like a real cherry it's not like a glacé cherry and then it reveals a floral rosy heart with a patchouli base so it's kind of like a lighter version of empress almost though i don't know if it's vegan and cruelty free like my perfumes are but yeah if you like your cherry scents there's not that many cherry fragrances out there this is definitely one of the best fruity floral fun could be worn in the daytime i think in the autumn but definitely great for evenings a new one from kenzo is their new flower ikebana now now, this one has cherry blossom in which you don't normally associate with autumn however what it also has is a lot of creamy sandalwood which for me is very autumnal because it's again that cozy creamy sweet wood scent which is really elegant I prefer this to original flower so at first you get that fresh cherry blossom but it then becomes quite a close cozy sandalwood this isn't as strong as a lot of these other ones it is an eau de parfum but it's not that strong but it is yeah it's definitely very cozy and um, so if you're looking for something a bit lighter perhaps you live somewhere where the weather doesn't get too cold this is a nice autumnal option one that's very affordable is diesel lover dose a classic it says it's got licorice in but it doesn't smell like licorice to me it just smells like sweet interesting carefree i find this lasts really well and because this been out for so long you can usually get these so cheap like 20 pounds or something it's fun it's almost got a bit of a play-doh sort of vinyl scent to it which i think is really fun yeah it's like sweet berries um, but it's got a warmth to it and an interestingness to it, which I really like. Um, I've loved this ever since it came out and I love now that you can get it at such good prices. If you're a fan of florals and rose, I recommend Coach Wild Rose. This is a really deep rose perfume. Often rose can be very light and summery, whereas this one has a real creaminess to it, kind of woodiness, but it still has the green, like nature feeling of, of the rose. It's a floral with a bit of a fruitiness to it but it also has this lovely sort of sandalwoody creamy undertone i think there's some jasmine in here as well and yeah i think this is the best coach perfume in terms of like lasting power it feels really strong and a lot of the other coach perfumes are more fresher more like spring summer whereas for me this and you can tell by the dark bottle for me this is more autumn this is called idol or idol now and these are all rose perfumes but this one has like a vanilla orchid orchidy note added to it so it feels like rose but then it has this more floral heart slightly sweet but it's more like a deeper very pretty rose the original is like a pear and rose the aura is a vanilla the nectar had a bit of popcorn in but not like my empress but this is really just so pretty and feminine if you love your pretty fragrances i recommend this because i find the idol range like most lancome perfumes are really good for lasting they're really good quality i really recommend lancome fragrances and i find this really projects like people can smell it on you be good for like the office like daytime it's feminine Feminine and it's just, yeah, I feel like it's like an improvement on the original Idol. Another pretty affordable one is Ariana Grande Cloud. This is a sweet, gourmand, musky, praline, whipped cream, a bit of coconut in. Feels very, very cozy and cuddly and it's actually great for lasting. Like you can really smell this on your clothes. People can smell it on you. It is quite sort of sexy with that whipped cream and it's also pretty similar to Maison France. This is Kirk de Jam Baccarat Rouge 540, the like viral one that costs 250 pounds, but again has that really ombre sweetness to it. This is 
very similar but you can get these for like 30 pounds so if you like your gourmands this be nice it layers really well with empress as well another really affordable one is ghost opulence now this one has cherry in a warm floral cherry really nice again quite moorish and it's that autumnal cherry like sort of fruits of the forest with a floral undertone bit of sandalwood very pretty fruity floral but in a warm way and um, obviously the bottle is amazing I love these and yeah this one I feel like is made for the autumn because of that warmth to the cherry note and these are super affordable I think they start at about 20 something pounds they are hard to find in the US I'll see if I can find it in the US and leave the link below but yeah I, they're one of my favorite perfume bottles ever right from Valentino Volce Viva Intense is my recommendation this is a vanilla jasmine but they've used a bourbon vanilla in this so it has a slight hint of a more warm, more complicated, a hint of like a bourbon whiskey to this that works so well with the vanilla and the jasmine. And I prefer it to original Volce Viva, which is a bit fresher. For the dark, colder months, I think this is definitely better because again, you get that cozy bourbon vanilla. It lasts pretty well. I do like the bottle. I think it's really cute. And I think, yeah, the original Volce Viva for maybe spring, summer, and then this for autumn winter. One that is quite similar to my Empress actually is YSL's Mon Paris. This is strawberry with rose, peony, heart, and then the patchouli base. So it's a fruity floral again. Um, it has a fantastic like lasting power. I find I can really rely on this to last. And it's sort of pretty, quite feminine, girly, but the patchouli in it gives it a bit of intrigue, a bit of depth. And the strawberry sort of lifts it, adds a bit of sweetness. So it's quite girly, but it is like a good strong odor parfum. So it's not that innocent because you can really smell it on you. But if you like your more fruity florals, you should definitely try this. It's not one that's talked about a lot, but I do really love Mon Paris. Another one from YSL is their Black Opium. This is the new intense version. Now this uses a solar note. So solar is a type of fragrance note that's meant to feel like the sun on your skin. And this is creamy, warm, bit of vanilla but the solar note really works in this to create something quite calming relaxing warm and it's just so much more interesting I think than original black opium it's quite moorish addictive it, even though it's called intense it's not that heavy it sits relatively close to the skin but I think it's classy and interesting and just something quite different it's a bit orangey as well but yeah it's that sort of warm very warm sunny vanilla which I think gives you that cozy vibe that you want in autumn next is Hugo Boss Alive the original this is a plum fragrance very autumnal with floral sort of jasmine undertones and a woody base but the plum just feels like it's made for autumn and um, I find the Hugo Boss fragrances are good for like work office like their brand is kind of quite aimed at that sort of clothing and plum is something that you don't see that much in fragrances so it's something a little bit different but it's very wearable I think you could wear this anywhere they have a lighter version which is very spring but the original Eau de Parfum is my recommendation for autumn. If you're looking for something a bit sweeter, Lancome's La Nuit Trésor Intense again has a cherry note in. So this is quite sweet. It has some of the sort of praline sweetness that we know from the original La Nuit Trésor, but it's a very deep cherry. It's sexy, perhaps more towards the evening. You know, it's very sort of sexy and red and black and that type of vibe. Yeah, maybe the evening in the autumn. Definitely one if you're fans of cherry fragrances, you should try this out. Yeah, this is one of my favorites from the Le Nuit Trésor range. And then lastly, number 20, I have Guerlain Le Petit Robe Noir Intense. So this used to be in a blue bottle with blueberry in. It's totally changed now. A really elegant, warm, warm, complex fragrance. I really love this range. It uses a lot of rose in here, so it's quite floral, but then we've got a slightly sweet fruity top note, but not too sweet, not too intense. 
it's more like a pretty deep rose interesting beautiful bottle and it's something that like your friends won't have it's not you don't see it everywhere and the original one which is cherry and almond I recommend more for winter and it's amazing for lasting very deep almond with cherry so yeah so that's my rundown of best autumn perfumes do let me know what else you'd add to this list in the comments below I do read all your comments but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video bye